Hello, I'm Miss A. Soba. Welcome to our Japanese lesson. In this video, we are going to talk about something most people struggle with. The difference between wa and ga. This is really hard to explain in English, but actually, it's also hard to explain it in Japanese as well. Japanese people can instinctively use wa and ga correctly. We can say generally when to use wa, when to use ga. However, even professors of Japanese languages at prestigious universities have different opinions how to explain these differences clearly. So, for non-native speakers, it's really hard. Here, I will introduce a basic explanation about these two, mostly based on Tokyo Gaigo University's approach with my own ideas. I think some students are taught that I, watashi wa, watashi ga, my, watashi no, me, watashi o, watashi ni. I can't say this is outright wrong, but I have to say, if you memorize things this way, you will soon bump into the situations where you are confused how to use wa and ga. In a more nuanced approach, we can say, wa is a topic marker, ga is a subject marker. There are many example sentences I could mention, but here I will explain it while using simple A wa B desu. A ga B desu. Style of sentences. While we are introducing our name, we say this way. Watashi no namae wa Yamada desu. As for my name, it's Yamada. I know it's unnatural. But in Japanese, we say topic first. We say what we are talking about first. And usually it's the same as subject. If we translate 私の名前は山田です literally, now I'm talking about my name. It's Yamada. However, it's really unnatural in English. So, in many textbooks, 私の名前は山田です equal my name is Yamada. So if we say 私の名前が山田です What does that mean? Actually, this sentence is wrong. We never say this. It feels unnatural. It's broken. Broken sentence. However, Yamada ga watashi no namae desu. Yamada is my name. This sentence is fine. We don't use it very often, but the sentence is right. Ga emphasize the noun before it. So this sentence emphasize Yamada. Anyway, I have to say that this Yamada is last name. We mostly communicate last name base. Let's check the example. Yamada ga watashi no namae desu is used naturally. Example 1. At the school in the morning, Julia from Mexico is greeting Yamada. Julia doesn't know how to pronounce Japanese correctly. Ohayo Yamada. Yamada desu. Yamada ga boku no namae desu. Ah, lo siento, Yamada. Yamada datte ba. Jama means in the way and implies pain in my neck. So, Mr. Yamada doesn't want to be called Jamada. So he emphasizes Yamada ga watashi no namae desu. In English, my name is Yamada and Yamada is my name. They have the same meaning, right? But in Japanese, watashi no namae ga Yamada desu is wrong. Yamada ga watashi no namae desu is okay. Why? You might ask. The Japanese subject marker ga includes the following image. The B is limited. A. Watashi no namae ga Yamada desu. 
this sentence is wrong, but I'm forced to try and translate this. It roughly could mean Yamada is limited to my name alone. It's impossible. There are many Yamadas in Japan, and the Yamadas, father and mother and grandfather and the brothers, also have the name Yamada. Yamada ga watashi no namae desu. My name is limited to Yamada. This is right. Mostly, people have just one last name. Here's another example. Watashi wa Murakami Haruki desu. And Watashi ga Murakami Haruki desu. Haruki Murakami as very popular novelist. He has only one in the world. So, example two. in the public reading event that the Haruki Murakami read his own book. I'm not sure he actually does this, but let's pretend for a moment. Everyone was waiting for him, and he appears in front of the microphone. He could say, Watashi ga Murakami Haruki desu. Ga! It is translated as just I'm Haruki Murakami. But as you now know, it includes the deeper meaning that I am the one and only Murakami Haruki. Murakami Haruki is limited to me. And if he said, Watashi wa Murakami Haruki desu, in this case, it's really unnatural because everyone knows who he is, so he doesn't need to explain who I am. So when do we use Watashi wa Murakami Haruki desu? Someone whose name is Murakami Haruki and not the famous Murakami Haruki would say Watashi wa Murakami Haruki desu for a self-introduction. As for me, I'm Haruki Murakami. This is the same as Watashi no namae wa Murakami Haruki desu. Both of them are good for self-introduction. Actually, in real life where you are introducing yourself, we sometimes omit Watashi wa or Watashi no namae wa. Example 3. Eh, atarashii o tomodachi o アニメと漫画が好きです。よろしくお願いします。どっかで聞いたことある名前だね。Everyone everyone knows that you are talking about yourself. So you don't need to talk about as for me. Or now I'm talking about myself. アニメと漫画が好きです。アニメと漫画が好きです。Here's another good example of ga. This is just translated as I like anime and manga. But it carries the additional meaning of what I like is focused around anime and manga. I like anime and manga very much. If you are an advanced student, you might be confused by these next two. Watashi wa anata wo suki desu. Watashi wa anata ga suki desu. Boku wa kimi wo え、好きです。ふーん。で僕は君が好きです。本当嬉しい。Both of them are translated as I like you. Literally means that when it comes to me, I like you. And the second one has the additional meaning of what I like is limited to you, which means you are the only one I like. So, the second sentence is more passionate than the first one. The first one is just describing the situation without emotion. I like you. And our last example is Murakami Haruki wa watashi desu. Example 4. When there are five students in a classroom and someone is Haruki Murakami, not the famous Haruki Murakami, and a new teacher comes to see him without knowing which student he is. 
、えー、っと、村上春樹さんはどなたですか Here I hope you will understand why the sentence 村上春樹さんがどなたですか Never get used. Why? Where? When? What? What time? How? Can it be limited? How can you limit the place, the time, human, you don't know? They should be what? 村上春樹は私です。村上春樹は私です。村上春樹 is me. As for Haruki Murakami, who you asked about, that's me. 私が村上春樹です。私が村上春樹です。I'm Haruki Murakami. I'm the Haruki Murakami who you asked about. The Haruki Murakami who you asked about is limited to me. Even if he is not the famous Haruki Murakami, he can say, 私が村上春樹です。In this case. That's all for today. I just explained wa and ga in A wa B des. A ga B des. Style of sentences. I hope it will help you to understand these two better. I'm making pitch accent videos and pronunciation videos and、uh, mini culture and phrase videos. And、uh, nowadays I'm posting、uh, pitch accent examples. On Twitter, and the、uh, Japanese idioms or very short videos on Instagram. So please follow or subscribe. Thank you very much. See you.